When it comes to losing your XRP and I suppose your crypto generally, a lot of people are most fearful of the governments of where they live, right? So, for instance, in the United States, it seems that the government, the present government anyway, is anti-crypto in a very, very strong way. So they're making a lot of, or at least are attempting to make a lot of laws to be in the detriment of those who hold crypto. They have the unelected SEC going after crypto and apparently neglecting the rest of the investment world just to go after crypto. I'm surprised how, even in this time when the country is struggling to keep a hold of the debt and the expenditure, they're able to assign such massive resources to this arm of the government that's just going after cryptocurrencies, apparently. However, I think that that's not the greatest threat. It's not the government, it's not the banks, it's not legislation or any of that. I think at this crucial point, the greatest threat to the average retail holder of XRP is spammers. Let me illustrate it to you. If you go to a very popular social media network, X, formerly known as Twitter, and you type in XRP, the top hits, like by far, are these fake Ripple accounts and Ripple info accounts saying that there's a new airdrop. And more often than not, they use Brad's face or somebody else of authority in the XRP community or in the Ripple company, rather. And look, there's a live stream right now, apparently. Look, fresh news for XRP holders, yada, yada, yada. And all of these are scams. God knows how many of these accounts have blocked. I blocked maybe 50 of them every day because for some reason, some of them actually tag me along because I post quite a lot about XRP, even on Twitter. So I find myself being hashtagged along and added with some of these posts, I guess, to maybe associate me in a way or, you know, get my followers to think that I co-sign this stuff. I don't. These are all scams, right? Nobody is airdropping anything. Nobody's rewarding anybody. Unfortunately, there are hundreds of people that fall for this stuff every day, which is why they do it. And it's not just X. It's the same story on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. YouTube is particularly bad. Every day I see a live stream of some kind. It's usually Brad's face. And now with AI, it's got even more difficult because YouTube and X and all these platforms are struggling to keep ahead of these farm bots. Some of them are human beings, obviously sitting in some sort of astroturf company somewhere, where they're just churning the stuff out, signing up for new accounts. But a lot of them are clearly bots. And you can always tell that they're not real accounts. Another clever thing that they've done in recent, of course, is hacking other people's accounts and using those hacked accounts to retweet these posts, right? So for instance, this Voidstar DX, if you look, they signed up in October of 2021. So it's not a terribly old account. And you got all their tweets. You can see that they've been tweeting about other stuff. So it's very likely that that account was hacked or perhaps they got paid to do this. Maybe there's some sort of astroturfing Discord server somewhere where you can join and get paid. Who knows? But all I know is that these are all scams. And a lot of people are falling for them, unfortunately. I mean, YouTube, for instance, are able to clamp down on speech that they don't like, especially to do with the current macro events. However, they just don't seem to be able to get a handle of these scam streams and scam bots and people asking you to send XRP here, click here for the airdrop. Now, most of you watching me are probably savvy enough to know that there's nothing for free in this world. And, you know, if it looks too good to be true, it is. And particularly when it comes to XRP, that all of these things are scams and an attempt to steal your money. But, you know, there are some people out there who don't know, they're noobs, and it just looks really real. Especially when you see, you know, Brad, <laughs> this is actually quite funny, us, if XRP ever breaks a dollar again, that count as XRP Productions. They tweet some funny stuff sometimes, man. But, you know, hopefully they don't get hacked, because if they ever get hacked, before you know it, they'll be posting scams as well. So this is the thing. Now with AI involved, you can basically get, you know, Brad's face apparently talking and saying this is going to happen. A lot of people who are not savvy, some people can't tell the difference between AI and reality. I can, many of you guys can, but some people can't. You'd be, you'd be surprised. 
Um, they're falling for these scams. And it's not just this. Emails are going out, people are getting contacted over WhatsApp, Telegram, social media, the DMs in people's Instagrams, and people are falling for them. So a lot of XRP is being lost this way. I don't know why, I mean, it's all crypto, but XRP in particular seems to be a massive target because they know that the XRP community is anticipating stuff and very attentive. So be careful, don't fall for this stuff. And of course, as usual, no financial advice or your own research. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.